What's going on guys? Coach Madden, YouGoProBaseball.com here with Brent Porcio at Top Velocity and today we're talking about how to use ground force torque to improve your bat speed, your exit velocity, just hit with more power overall. So if you're a hitter, pay attention. Right, so I look at this from the standpoint of biomechanics. I'm a biomechanist. So I study the medical journals and I, I look at what is correlating in, in the skill of hitting to bat power. I mean, we can look at um, ball contact, we can look at long angles, we can do all that, but just strictly from the fact, uh, the point, standpoint of power and getting power to the bat head is, is what we're going to look at here. And like John said, it's, it's the components of ground force and torque. And what is ground force? That's the force that we create in the ground. So like when I want to jump, I got to bend my legs so I can extend them and push force in the ground. And whatever force goes down, an equal and opposite force comes up, right? So if I'm trying to get power into this barrel, right, to the ball, how I propel my body and create force off the ground is going to have a lot to do with the kind of energy that I can meet the ball with, right? So when, I, when I'm looking at ground force, I'm looking at a, a weight shift, right? But, you know, we could do a very, very unaggressive weight shift and just bring our weight to our backside and transfer our weight to our front side. But if we're trying to maximize power, or maximize bat velocity, exit velocity, I want to do that at a maximum effort, right? So being able to shift and then crash all my weight into front foot. And that's where we got to get into actually extending and driving, right? But the hard thing to do with a hitter, which is different, say, from a pitcher when they go to create ground force in the lower half, is their shin angles are more vertical as a hitter. Therefore, that's why rotation is more dominant, can be more dominant with hitters. So when your shin angles are up, what happens is when you go to push off the ground, you want to jump, right? You don't want to jump. You don't want to move forward. In the case of hitting, we're trying to move forward into our front leg to crash all that weight and then transfer all that forward energy to the ball. So it's hard when your shin angles are up. So what we're going to do is when you shift to your backside and you start to shift your weight forward, you're going to, at the same time, we'll talk about this next, you're going to rotate your femur and rotate your thigh, but that's going to help get your shin down so your last little push is going to be through that that foot in that direction of your front leg. So understand, you're going to push best when your shin angle is down, right? It's going to push best when it's down. But still, the point is, is we're trying to get as much force into our front leg that what happens is as we shift our weight, our back leg also will start to come off the ground. Boom, like that, right? That's a lot of force. And notice how if I'm catching that force and pushing back into it, which is creating more over here, but this is what we're looking at as hitters, trying to tr create that much force as we go into front foot strike, boom, right? And that's just gonna mean I'm gonna have more energy to put into the bat head. So things that help on ground force that John has some great videos with is the king of the swing that tells you how well you're creating that force or pushing in the opposite direction to move you forward. Uh, but once you get the ground force components down, now it's understanding how torsion or torque is, it plays with that or works with that. And what that means is when energy moves forward, for the bat head to come around, we have angular or rotational movements. So one of the first things we need to rotate is our hips. Because when our hips rotate, that's going to bring the bat head around. It's also going to add more energy. But the only way to rotate your hip is you, your femur has to turn or your thigh has to turn inward. Once your thigh turns inward, now your hip can open up, right? So if we, if we try to push all that force forward, but our femur doesn't rotate, we're going to hit front foot and our hips aren't going to rotate, and now we're going to have to push our hands to hit the ball. We're not going to have all that rotation of our hips to trunk to help accelerate the ball. So like I talked about in getting your shin angle down, as you go to front foot, you have to unload uh, what we call torque. So initially when you're shifting your weight back, you're sitting into your hip, you're counter-rotating your hip, and your femur is going into what's called external rotation. It's going into torsion. So then we, as we shift our weight forward, it's going to release that. It's going to spin into internal rotation, and that's when we're going to start to push and accelerate the ground forces in the front foot strike. So the torsion component comes in. As you twist in counter-rotation and you shift your weight, it's going to unload and you're going to accelerate your ground force. And that's the combination of ground force torque 
into maximizing bat velocity. So we'll have all this maximum power coming through the hip. The trunk will delay or pull back against that. Then your elbow will drop and connect to that. And then that'll power your bat speed all the way through the zone. It does two things. It'll create a longer bat path to be in the zone longer and it'll put more force through your bat head, accelerating your bat power, which will accelerate your exit velocity. Two things uh, that made me think of when you were explaining that. <clears throat> the first thing is, I see a lot of young players that aren't using their legs, and I'm sure they've heard a coach at some point say, you're not using your legs enough, but nobody understands what that means. This is what that means. And the king of the swing that Brent was talking about is a great way to understand and feel how, how well you're doing it. Exactly. It gives you that instant feedback, instant audible feedback, so that you know if you did it right or did not. And you're going to feel it, and you're going to hear it, and then you can improve quicker, in my experience, using it with players. The and second, and, and what ahead. the king of the swing is, to jump in right there, it's a little plate we put our foot on, and when we push that way, it, it'll pop. It goes pop, right? So what it does is it tells us how well are we pushing that way to create all the force going forward through our hip which is then gonna carry through the back. So it, right as I load back, it would set, and then as I transferred forward, if I did it hard enough, it would go pop, and then you would know, wow, I just created all that ground force going forward. The second thing I, that I was thinking about when you were explaining that was uh, when you were demonstrating the, 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 the swing, it made me think of your medicine ball throws. Yeah. So that's a great way which to- is a, Which is a key part to my program. So I have a program called Ground Force Torque Hitting, or GFT Hitting. And we use the medicine balls to train it because the medicine balls are similar a little bit more than the weight of the, of the base of the bat. And we don't have to sit here and make contact and we can just for, focus on how well am I getting energy out of my hand as opposed to like how well is the bat bouncing off the ball. It takes away that added uh, amount of energy that the ball can create and it sees how purely are you creating it through your hand from what you're doing. So that's some great stuff right there, you know, to, to understand how the lower half works in the swing to start to generate that energy from the ground through your body, your kinetic chain, and out through your hands. That's some really good stuff. So if you're an aspiring hitter, take notes because that, uh, that was great there. Check out uh, some of the links down below. I'll post them down there where you can check out Brent's uh, program as well as uh, the King of the Swing. And uh, also subscribe so you're notified when we upload some new videos. We shot a bunch of videos. Um, we'd love to hear you down in the comments below. Subscribe to Top Velocity, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.